one of the myths is that um, BYOD um, is, is uh, something that um, enables users to um, be more easily able to leave the company because they own their own device and they can just leave and take the device with them. Um, what we would argue is that in actual fact it, it doesn't have to be like that and that BYOD is something that more likely helps people stay because by using your own device you're more happy working with the company, you're not forced to use some phone or some uh, notebook that you don't really want to use. Uh, so, But by using your own device you're actually more happy working, you're more productive. Um, but there, it is a double-edged sword because people do leave uh, and you want to make sure that when they do leave they're not also taking all your company's data with them. They're not also uh, being inadvertently left with access to systems uh, that they were using uh, when they were employees. Um, so you want to control that uh, and, and overall uh, have a balance there between happy employees, uh, efficient employees, but also managing and putting an umbrella of, of governance over the whole uh, BYOD process. One of the concerns about BYOD is, is access to data, um, that you're um, inviting employees to, to load up their own devices with apps, accessing data, um, obviously data like you know, company uh, prospects and sales leads, um, all sorts of information, um, HR information, um, that, that's all uh, sensitive to, to uh, organizations. So the management of that comes down to managing the data. You don't want all the data to be sitting on the devices. You want to manage access to the data. Um, we see APIs as being central to this. Uh, so lightweight uh, web APIs that allow access to the data to be governed uh, so that access to uh, sales leads via, for example, Salesforce, access to HR information, things like Concur uh, for expense reports, all of that is managed. Uh, and, and you manage that in a number of different ways. Uh, one is that by making sure that rather than having you know, many different accounts that are difficult to keep track of and potentially employees using your own personal accounts, um, instead you put a layer of governance there. You have single sign-on so that when it comes to somebody joining or somebody leaving, you can give them access to all of their cloud-based APIs all at once, or you can remove the access when they leave, uh, and you're managing that. And you're also keeping track of, of how the data has been used, which comes down to management of the APIs, it's API management. In the past, people thought about the perimeter, and it was the kind of castle and moat um, type mentality there. Uh, where you defend the perimeter and everything inside is fine. That doesn't make sense now where you're um, using mobile devices that are connecting out through mobile networks, not actually even on your, your corporate network. Um, as you say, using things like Dropbox, uh, uploading and downloading photographs and files. In some ways, the perimeter has shrunk down to being around the data itself, the messages themselves. You want to protect those. You want to scan them to make sure that nothing uh, sensitive is being uploaded or downloaded. Uh, and you want to also make sure that uh, people uh, sending data in and out of, of different systems, uh, that data itself um, is, is being uh, managed. And, and again, that comes down to um, managing the interfaces that are there. Um, so having an API server in place whereby that's managing, for example, you mentioned you know, data coming up, up to your network, photographs, different files, people using Dropbox, um, to manage all of that usage. Uh, to uh, manage the APIs that are being used to, to, to access that info because that's ultimately how the, how the data has been uh, transported. And um, we would argue that um, by putting that type of, of layer of, of management in place that organizations can use BYOD, uh, get all the benefits, but also have um, the um, governance and, and the um, ability to, to manage it in place.